It's unclear right now how many people may be hurt. Uh, the suspect is in custody. Right now we're going to share app. All right, let's take a live look outside as we start this Friday morning. So. You know, I was going to go shopping, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> kind of foggy about it, to be honest. You might not, yeah, right? <laughs> I don't know. You, you might not even be able to see the well, store when you get there. <laughs> but as long as you can see the light of the sign, you can make your way there. Jen, uh, the fog causing some issues this morning. Yeah. We are dealing with freezing fog this morning with temperatures in the teens and low 20s. So we have a dense fog advisory until 9. I think we least 10 or 11 o'clock tonight we will trade the fog for gusty winds we have high wind warnings in effect in the mountains and the foothills and the eastern plains for tonight and tomorrow where winds could easily gust to 80 miles per hour if not great some snow showers from this afternoon into this evening and those gusty winds tonight so as we take it through with our camera out there you can't see anything because the fog is Frozen on it right now. I'm watching the dense fog to Erie up towards Longmont and Collins and Wellington area. Those are the areas where the fog is making visibility less than a quarter of a mile. You head farther south from Centennial on down towards Larkspur. We're looking at visibility less than a or cold this morning. And then walk you through, Drew, as we take it into showers, four to five transitions to some snow, five to eight looking at snow showers and gusty winds tonight. A little bit of everything, fog, snow, rain, wind. That's Colorado weather for you. Hey, this is some news if you're heading up into the high country that you do want to be aware of. Westbound I-70 is completely shut down because of a rock slide that took place earlier this morning. This is a live look at I-70 westbound near Fall River Road, so pretty high up the mountain near Idaho Springs. These are for the folks that have already made it through the closure. As you can see, emergency crews there having them get off, exit off onto the highway off of I-70 before they can get back on. Uh, but we are seeing a complete standstill. This is a little bit further down the mountain near Floyd Hill. As you can see, this is where the closure is actually taking place. And I know it's off in the distance, but that is a complete parking lot. If you can see all those cars just sitting there along I-70. CDOT tweeted this out saying there's no detour at this point. So if you're interstate in that westbound direction with nowhere to go because they do have this closure because of a rock slide. They don't know when it will reopen. They first thought it We'll let you know when we do get an update when I-70 westbound is open up. But for now, do not try to take I-70 westbound up into the high. At what we're seeing around town. We overlaid the weather conditions uh, over the map here. So you see that all that yellow foggy driving conditions. If you're headed out, uh, something you want to be aware of. Also westbound I-70. direction and southbound Colorado Boulevard is shut down because of a crash that took place earlier this morning. Once again, that location as well. No estimate on when those lanes will reopen, guys. All right, thanks, Drew. The biggest shopping day of the year has finally arrived. Yes, uh -huh. we're talking happening right now. Thousands of shoppers are gearing up at malls and stores across Colorado waiting to cash in on those big deals out there. Fox 31's Kevin Torres, KT down in Castle Rock. And he is at the outlets at Castle Rock. Kevin, they have a lot of uh, free items.